Following question to Pope Francis. Hello, Your Holiness. I am Domingo. I am beginning the Regency State of Formation. You always ask us to pray for you. Could you share with us what weighs most on your heart at this time? What is it that pains you the most? On the one hand, what is weighing on your heart, and on the other hand, what joys are you experiencing at this time? Answer. The joy that I have most at present comes from the pre preparation for the Synod. Even though sometimes I see, in some parts, that there are shortcomings in the way it is being conducted. The joy of seeing how from small parish groups, from small church groups, very beautiful reflections emerge, and there is great ferment, it is a joy. In this regard, I want to reiterate one thing. The Synod is not my invention. It was Paul VI at the end of the Council who realized that the Catholic Church had lost the sense of synodality. The Eastern part of the Church maintains it. So he said, something must be done. And he created the Secretariat for the Synod of Bishops. For then on, there has been slow progress, sometimes imperfect progress. Some time ago, in 2001, I participated as President Delegate in the Synod, dedicated to the Bishop as a servant of the Gospel of Jesus Christ for the hope of the world. At the time when I was preparing things for the vote, on what had come from the groups, the cardinal in, in charge of the synod said to me, No, don't put that in. Take it out. In short, they wanted a synod with censorship, a curial censorship that blocked things. On the wood there were these imperfections. There were many, but at the same time it was a path that was being travelled. When 50 years had elapsed since the creation of the Secretariat of the Synod of Bishops, I signed a document drafted, up, drafted by theologians who were experts in Synod theology. If you want to see a good result after 50 years on the road, look at that document. And in the last 10 years, we have been continuing the progress until we reach, I think, a mature expression of what synodality is. Synodality is not about going after votes, as a political party would. It is not about preferences, about belonging to this or that party. In a synod, the principal figure is the Holy Spirit. He is the protagonist. So you have to let the Spirit lead things. Let him express himself as he did on the morning of Pentecost. I think that is the strongest path. Speaking of concerns, of course, one thing that worries me a lot, without any doubt, is war. Since the end of World War II, all over the world, wars have never ceased. And today we see what is happening in the world. It's useless to add more words. Last question. Thank you very much, Your Holiness, for coming to Lisboa. My name is Francisco too. You have really changed the environment of this city and this country, and I would say of the whole Christian world. I was one of the last three to take final vows. I feel very much the awareness of working alongside you. So I ask you, what is our mission as a church, as a universal society, and as a Portuguese province? What role do we have in reaping the fruits of this World Youth Day? Things are really changing. People are really getting excited. What do we need to do in order not to miss the great opportunity the Church has given us? Answer of the Pope. 
The World Youth Day involves many Portuguese youth. You must welcome the restlessness of young people generally and help them develop it, so that that restlessness does not turn into a memory of the past. In other words, restlessness must be allowed to develop little by little. World Youth Day is a planting in the heart of every young man and woman, and so it can't end up becoming the memory of a past feeling. It must lead to a fruitful outcome, and that is not an easy thing. I ask you to continue with the young people who are here, but also with those who have not participated. Here, the water has been agitated, and the Holy Spirit is taking advantage of it to touch hearts. Each of these young people comes out different. This diversity must be maintained. And now it is your turn. Accompany them so that the diversity is maintained and grows. It is time to cast your nets in the gospel sense of the image. Thank you, Holy Father, for coming. May God bless you all.